It's been a week since Hurricane Helene made landfall, and the full scale of the devastation is still being assessed. The death toll is climbing. More than 190 killed, and first responders are still searching for missing people. The grieving process is now underway for those who lost loved ones, like this woman whose parents and seven-year-old son were washed away by the floodwaters. My grief today is um, unfathomable. I'm so proud of my son because in his last moments, he wasn't screaming for me. He was screaming, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, save me. The recovery effort is ramping up. Crews working hard to restore power to about a million customers, mostly in the Carolinas. While anxious home and business owners survey the damage, predicting a long road ahead. It's not just our livelihood ours, but it's also our employees and um, just having to rebuild it and everybody in this complex. It's not going to be weeks. It's going to be months. And President Biden is trying to reassure those folks they won't be left behind. He's making his second visit to the area today, getting a firsthand look at the damage in Florida and Georgia.